So once we've established that there is no blood clot on the right side, no deep venous thrombosis, we can now concentrate our efforts on why the patient really came in for pain and swelling mainly below the knee. So we look at the great saphenous at the knee and we can see that this vein fully compresses. However, I question that this is actually the great saphenous because when you look at the line here, which would be the fascial plane, you can see this is in the superficial tissue. So I'm not quite sure if this is actually the great saphenous, but yet maybe a tributary. Regardless, it is fully compressible. As we continue to the proximal calf, we see that the vein has gotten much larger. Again, not sure if this is the great saphenous, truly the great saphenous, but regardless, it is a blood clot within this vein. The sonographer has labeled a partial compression. And we do see some color here in this next image. However, you can again tell that there is a thrombus. And now we see varicosities here. And you can tell they're varicosities because they're not uniform. This is uh, non-compressed completely. So we have a superficial thrombophlebitis. And we move to the mid-distal calf. These veins appear to compress, again, in the superficial tissue. And now we see what appears to be the true great saphenous. It's moved back between the fascia, and it is fully compressible. Now, as with any unilateral exam, the sonographer moves to the contralateral common femoral saphenofemoral junction to prove patency. We've taken a compression picture here with color now to show patency and a spectral Doppler waveform. So the takeaway for this exam would be, or the impression I should say, would be that there is a negative DVT for the right lower extremity, positive for superficial thrombophlebitis of the right calf, and you can also say that there is a patent common femoral saphenofemoral junction.